A founder in Lali and his family of Bayelsa State in Nigeria's Orich Niger Delta region are taking on oil giant Royal Dutch Shell in an unprecedented legal battle. They could win millions of dollars in compensation after a pipeline spill destroyed their fish farms, their main source of income. The worst thing that I feel that has happened to me in my life is this uh, oil spill because I just inherited these fish ponds from my father. This is the kind of damage that was done. The water in the fish pond is thick with black oil. The Alalis are now living on handouts from family and friends. You can see the kind of house I'm living. This is a you can really look at it. You can't believe it. 60% of my life, the chance of survival, 60% of me and my children's chance of survival is, is in the hands of God. If Fenger's oil spill case against Royal Dutch Shell is being closely watched by the people of the Niger Delta. Over the last 50 years, foreign oil companies have spilled up to 1.5 million tons of oil in Nigeria. But according to environmentalists, there have been hardly any successful legal cases against them and no compensation. Many feel that's because the Nigerian government partners with foreign oil companies in oil exploration. So pollution damage cases against them can never succeed in Nigerian courts, and none have. What makes Ifanga's case unique is that with the help of the organization Friends of the Earth, he's managed to get his case against Shell heard in the Netherlands, the home of Shell. Knowing that Nigeria is in bed with Shell, that they are one, we just have to go to the father of Shell. We just have to go to the homeland of Shell. It is really pathetic when you go into the communities and you see how they suffer from the oil exploration and exploitation activities. If Anger feels further encouraged that he may get compensation for damage to his fish farms because of the reaction to the ongoing Gulf of Mexico oil spill involving the oil giant BP. He's astonished that fishermen there have already received compensation from BP and is pleased by the efforts made by the U.S. government to bring the oil giant to account for the oil spill. Ifanga blames the Nigerian government for failing to protect the people of the Niger Delta from the activities of foreign oil companies. Today you see the Niger Delta crisis. It's not Niger Delta versus oil companies. It's Niger Delta versus the federal government. What is causing this? It's because of the oil. And who owns this oil? It's the people from the Niger Delta. But because the federal government is controlling it, through their agents being the oil companies. He hopes the Gulf of Mexico oil spill crisis will help to shine the spotlight on communities like his own, for whom suffering the effect of oil spills is part of everyday life. Shell refused to comment on his case for this report. Yvonne Dege, Al Jazeera, Aruma, Bielsa State, Nigeria.